the insane reality of the B-24 Liberator and its autopilot during World War II. 1. The Odd Reality, Autopilot and World War II Bombers The B-24 Liberator, a heavy bomber used in World War II, was equipped with a revolutionary yet basic autopilot system, the Sperry A-3. This system was designed to stabilize the plane during long missions and allowed for level flight, even amidst enemy fire or turbulence. Unlike today's autopilot systems, the Sperry relied on gyroscopic stabilization to maintain a straight course. A co-pilot recalled using it during a bombing run over Germany. After hours of flying, his hands cramped from gripping the controls. Engaging the autopilot offered a brief reprieve, allowing the crew to prepare for the bombing phase. However, the system wasn't flawless. A slight miscalibration could send the plane off course, forcing the flight engineer to crawl into the freezing bomb bay mid-flight to make manual adjustments, a dangerous task at 30,000 feet in the bitter cold. 2. The Frozen Fight for Survival At high altitudes, temperatures inside the B-24 dropped to life-threatening levels. Gunners stationed in unheated turrets relied on electrically heated suits, but these suits often failed. Frostbite was so common that many crew members carried small flasks of alcohol, not for drinking, but to warm their frozen hands and free them from metal grips. On one mission, the oxygen system froze, leaving the crew gasping for air. The co-pilot grabbed a wrench and desperately hammered on the frozen pipes while the autopilot maintained the plane's flight path. The fix worked, but several crew members suffered frostbite. The crew knew every mission could kill them, not just from enemy fire but from the harsh elements inside their own plane. 3. The Phantom Autopilot Incident During a bombing run over occupied France, the B-24's autopilot gained an unsettling reputation. After taking heavy flak, the crew engaged the system to stabilize the aircraft while they dealt with injuries and assessed damage. But something went wrong, the autopilot locked the plane into a steady descent toward enemy territory. The pilot scrambled to disengage the system, but it wouldn't respond. Under fire and running out of time, he had to cut the wires to the autopilot with a pocket knife while standing on the controls. The crew regained manual control moments before crashing into a German outpost. From then on, the autopilot was nicknamed the Phantom Pilot, a haunting reminder of its unpredictability. 4. The Mid-Air Collision Horror one of the most terrifying incidents involving the B-24's autopilot occurred during a mission over Romania. Two bombers in the formation collided mid-air when one's autopilot failed to disengage during evasive maneuvers. The planes smashed into each other, sending flaming debris hurtling toward the ground. The pilot of a nearby B-24 watched in horror as the collision unfolded just yards away. His bomber was rocked by the explosion but narrowly avoided being hit by falling debris. The incident highlighted the dangers of relying too much on the autopilot during combat. 5. The Isolation of the Tail Gunner While the autopilot made flying slightly easier for the pilots, it did nothing to help the tail gunners. Positioned at the rear of the plane, these men were isolated, often freezing and alone for hours. One gunner, stationed during a grueling mission to Austria, experienced a frozen oxygen line that left him semi-conscious for most of the flight. When the plane landed, the gunner muttered strange words about hearing the plane whisper to him, promising to keep him safe. Delirium and exhaustion led to eerie stories like this, further highlighting the psychological toll of combat in the skies. 6. The Ployish de Raid and Autopilot's Role in Precision Bombing During the low-altitude raid on Romanian oil refineries at Ploiești, the B-24's autopilot played a crucial role in maintaining level flight for accurate bombing. As the bombardier used the Norden bombsite to line up the target, the autopilot kept the plane steady. However, during the raid, flak and enemy fire caused chaos. The autopilot suddenly disengaged without warning, forcing the pilot to wrestle with the controls to keep the plane steady. With bombs still on board, any misstep could have turned the plane into a fireball. Despite this, the crew completed their mission, though the stress of the moment stayed with them for years. The Legacy of the B-24 and its Autopilot The B-24 Liberator's Sperry A-3 Autopilot was ahead of its time, but it was far from perfect. It offered relief during long missions but also created new dangers. For the crews, survival wasn't just about avoiding enemy fire, it was about battling the cold, exhaustion, and the unpredictable quirks of their own machines. 
These occurrences, though terrifying and odd, reveal the harsh realities of war. The B-24 wasn't just a tool of destruction, it was a flying metal coffin that tested the limits of human endurance. And within its walls, the men faced not only the enemy but the relentless fight to keep their sanity in the skies.